All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a badass breakout strategy that works really good. I have recently um, started a challenge with five percenters, and this strategy has helped me um, almost get there to pass the challenge. But I want to show you guys how this works. We're here in Trading View, so I can show it to you. I usually trade the Euro US dollar, and I'm a scalper after a breakout. I like to scalp. And I'm going to show you how I do that. It, it's kind of trend trading in a way, too. Um, I like to do the New York session. Now, if you guys don't know about kill zones, so you could see what session you're trading on, you guys need to install that. If you notice, see this gray mark here? That's uh, telling me that's New York session. I'm in the hourly chart right now. Now, I recommend you guys get the kill zones indicator. Just go to indicators and type in kill zones and it's the one by Oscar BS when you install it um, go to the settings and you in the inputs you could ch you could choose your session either New York Tokyo or London and then change the the colors now what's crazy is it doesn't show you which session you're changing the color so you're gonna have to play around with it but anyway the way I like it is with the gray here so we're gonna know we are back testing right now on New York session or you could be trading on New York you know whatever your session is I recommend you use that guys kill zones now for this strategy we're gonna do it on the euro US dollar but I'm sure it'll work with any uh, pair out there we're gonna use the uh, moving average 20 and 50 and we're gonna use the SAR indicator too to show you guys and it's really gonna be it's gonna be personal choice we're gonna use the SAR or the 20 moving uh, average to trail stop the trade all right guys but the first thing we do let's jump right in on the one hour chart we're going to go ahead and put major support and resistances here at the very top now the one hour lines we're going to do them just bold like this okay we're going to do on top there um right there because here's the previous support previous support right there previous support right there previous support right here previous support right there you guys notice how i'm doing that i'm doing it on every major pivot here okay that's going towards the downside going towards the upside i would put it right here because if, if it were to go up uh you could put it right here too if you'd like maybe we should let's put another one here now keep in mind these are too close to each other i would probably wait for the second one to get in Sometimes you can make profit in between these. Now, what's beautiful about these support and resistance lines, I want you guys to put this idea in your head right now. And I got this idea from Daniel Savage. Okay, Daniel Savage is, like the name implies, he's, that dude's a savage, right? That dude has made it. He has a Lambo, you know, and he he's a millionaire. We, we, we all know that. But what he says is, he, look at these lines as magnets the price is attracted to these lines and when it breaks through the line it's attracted to the next one okay keep that keep that picture in your head guys very important these lines are magnets for the price action does that make sense okay now let's look back here let's put some more um resistance up here the next one up if i'm going back in time here is going to be here the next one the next one up after that you guys might not think that this is one but i seen price actually respect these little guys here too see where i have it right here then we're also going to do it over here on top all right once you have these support and resistances on there let's go back to the, over here now what you want to do is go to your five minute chart and our entries this is how I do it some people like to use four hour and 30 minute what well, four hour to put their major support and resistance and trade on the 30 minute that's what Daniel Savage does I like to do, uh, put my major support and resistances on the one hour and trade on five minute everybody's different now on the five minute we're going to go ahead and put our support and resistance is but we're going to change the settings we're going to make it dotted a dashed line actually dashed line right there right there if you notice that is support this is resistance here 
and then we're going to find all the other little pivot points. Euro USD has been freaking crazy lately. Look at this. But still, you can find them, right? I would say the next one up after this one would be right about there. Right about there. Right about... Uh, there's so many can wicks here, it's freaking hard. I wouldn't even... I would put it right here. Why the heck not? Now, you don't have to be perfect, perfect. You will notice price when it breaks through these lines. It freaking moves like crazy. Remember that, guys. When it breaks through these lines, you're going to see the difference there for sure. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now, actually, what I wanted to do is go uh, on replay mode. Because right now we're doing it live. Like right now, is, at this time of this video, it's October 20, no, October 31st of 2022 but that's how you do it that's how you do them there but actually we're gonna have to uh, let's remove these drawings let's go back in time I wanted to show you guys first how to draw them right on the live market but let's go back in time a few let's go back to I don't know as far back as we don't have to go too far back but let's go here right let's actually put it to the test we're gonna do some back testing we're on the one hour. Remember how to do this. So I'm going to do it real quick. Sorry that I have to do it again, guys. Bear with me here. So right there, right here, I would say the pivot points are here, here. You could put one there where price is at, but eh, I'm not going to do it right where price is at. Um, the next one up, so we got these. Actually, let's keep doing supports. Supports are the ones that are on the bottom, all right, guys? The next one down, I would say, is this one here, but uh, I'm not too convinced. I'm going to put it right here. Next one down will be right here. Next one down will be down here. That's going towards the bottom, support, right? Now let's look at resistance points going towards the top. The next one up, I would say, is way the heck up here, right? However, hmm look when you have this big gap right here you really have to look back you're gonna have to put it right here and i've learned this from experience guys you might think the trade's gonna go way the hell up there when it goes on a buy signal but in reality because of this little wick here i'm gonna zoom in so you see it this little wick here will create a resistance for you here so we're gonna put it right there i know that sounds weird but i've seen it happen all right the next one up will be here Next one up will be about right there. Next one up right here. These are very important, guys. You're going to remember what I said. Price will be attracted to these lines like a dang magnet. Trust me. All right, now let's go down to five minute. Now we're actually going to start doing some uh, back testing here. Now I only trade in New York session. So what I'm going to do is go back to one hour, actually. My bad. And I'm going to fast forward this until we see... Uh, a fresh session on New York session. So we're just going to fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Boom. Let me go back in time just a little bit to the start of the session. Remember, guys, when you guys back test, if you're a London session guy, only back test during London session. Don't back test when, when it's in the middle, of, when it's not in session. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to zoom into five minute. My bad. We're zooming into five minute. And inside of five minute, remember, we're going to put our smaller pivot points on the five minute. And we're going to do those as dash. That way we know these are the, the, the smaller time frame uh, pivot points. Support and resistances, whatever you want to call them. But there they are right there. Now, boom, we're in session. I want to show you guys how this works. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the meat and potatoes now. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you're waiting, you're waiting. You can actually now put one here if you want to. Boom. See this top one right here? I would put one right there. All right. Now we're getting close to the bottom here. You, what I, what I do, so it looks like it might go towards the bottom. The 20 and the 50 moving average is about to cross. All right. So I get my ruler, and I'm going to measure three pips right there. Three pips. That's my entry, is at 3. We look to the right, it's 1.01758. 1.01758. 1 
1.0175. We're going to put the short position 1.0175.8. Let's look at ATR. ATR will tell us what the stop loss is going to be, right? A normal ATR is 76. So that would be 7.6, right? On here. Let's add a little bit more. Let's put it to 8.5. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do 8.5. A little bit over eight, what ATR is showing, right? ATR is showing 7.6. We're going to do 8.5. Boom. A little bit over what ATR does. We're going to put the take profit. Remember what I said. These lines are like magnets. We're going to put the take profit close to the take profit. I mean to the, to the support down here. Now what I like to do, I get these yellow boxes and i'm going to put a little channel here a little basically what this says is if it does hit this yellow area i can get out manually you don't have to wait till it actually hits take profit sometimes what happens guys it'll almost hit takes profit and you're waiting getting greedy and boom it turns back around and you were so close to take profit and now you're a break even or in a loss you don't want that to happen i'm also going to put right in the middle of this of the profit I'm going to put a little line. What that means is if it reaches this little line in the middle, I'm going to put the trade to break even. Boom, like that. Okay. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing. Now let's see if this triggers. All right. Now equally you want to put one on top too. But boom, I think it, tr it triggered the trade. Boom, we're in. We are in. It's really close to the break-even point right here. You can actually start putting it at break-even if you want or until it touches the line, whatever you guys want to do. All right, we're at break-even. Put the sucker to break-even. Boom. We're at break-even. Now, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, boom. Holy moly. Look at that. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Beautiful. Freaking breakout towards the bottom. We got profit. Uh, let me put this back to where it was so we know exactly how much we made. 8.5. So we made, if you didn't get out the, if you actually got out the actual take profit line, um, we made 2.31 risk reward ratio right there. Bam! And you had it at break even. So you're good. You are good. Bam, made a good one right there. Now, what I usually do is I would have another one down here. So let's put another one down here. You want to have it set up ahead of time as a pending order so you don't miss these opportunities. Did you see how that thing just freaking, oh, I love I love it when it does that. Euro US dollar does this a lot, guys. I don't know about the other uh, pairs, but this one does. All right, so we're going to measure it to three. Where are we at on three? Uh, 1.01425. 1 1.01425. 1.01425. ATR says 8.8. .8. I'm, then I'm going to do stop loss at 9.5. Just add to it a little bit. I'm going to do 9.5 stop loss. We're going to put the take profit to the next magnet. I like to call these magnets. Remember that? We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to put a take profit zone. Break even will be right in the middle. Oh, wait. My bad. I put something else on there. Break even here when it reaches the middle. That's about the middle. You're not always going to get the middle perfect, but right there. And it did trigger it. So we're in this trade, actually. It triggered when it went down here. Uh, this could possibly go to, you know, stop. But we'll see what happens. Nope. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom. We're break even. So whoosh, we go break even. And let's see what happens. Ooh, shoot. And this one actually, it went break even. I think, right? Did it? How close did we get to break even? Let me see. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're break. So this one broke even. Now, here's where you guys can choose. You guys can choose whether you want to, let's see what would have happened if it wasn't break even. What if you never really went break even? Some people don't like break evens because this, this crap tends to happen. I bet you after it hit break even, this sucker is going to go down towards TP. Take profit. Check this out. It could happen. It could happen. And. No. 
break even would have been the best option. So that's why we have break evens when this crap happens. But look how close we got to our take profit zone down here, right? But in my personally, I just take the break even, man. It's better when you're in the market, you're in the middle of lions. You want to cover your ass as much as possible. So putting that thing to break even, you don't get a loss. You just get break even. Boom. There you go. So we got one profit, one good profit, and one break even for the day. Usually around this time, I'm done trading. This is it. I'm done. It's almost freaking 12. I start my trading session at 6 a.m. Mountain time where I'm at. I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The home of Breaking Bad. But check it out. From 6 a.m. By this time, it's already 1030. I'm done. I got one good profit. Boom. One good profit. And one break even. I'm happy. At that point, I would be happy. The profit is a, what did we say that was? Let's put it back to what, what it was. I think it was a two point something, right? 2.33 around there. Risk reward ratio profit. Hell yeah. Boom. And then here was break even. I'm done. I step out. I go on with my day. Come back the next day. That's how I do it, guys. And I got this from David Sav. You know, he's like my mentor in a way. <laughs> he says, Choose one session, one pair, one strategy. That's all you guys need, guys. Don't get confused. Now, another strategy that I like to do is uh, trend breakouts. You draw the trend. You draw the trend, and when it breaks out of the trend, because you can make money on the way back. Let's say we broke even here. You draw the trend, and when it breaks out of the trend, you could put a pending order, same way we did here on these breakouts. But that can get you a little confused. I recommend just sticking to one strategy till you master it. That's what I'm doing. The other strategy I like is when it breaks out of these uh, trends. Because you can make money back towards the upside here. Think about it. If we were to get in when this trend broke, put a pending order. If you see it almost breaking, put a pending order there. Boom. And put it towards the next line, like right here. Look at that sucker. It actually hit it. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much on that trend breakout. But basically, I wanted to show you guys my strategy of how I find out when price is going to move. Price will move when it breaks through these lines like a magnet towards the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanted to show you guys my strategy. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Oh, yeah.